Well, first, I think the most important thing to understand is that Mr. Trump is very unpredictable. And uh, the second thing that's important is that uh, he confounded most of the experts whose predictions were more or less all off. And I am an expert. So uh, with that in mind, I'll just say that taking a, uh, at face value what he said during the campaign, uh, his election will not be good for U.S. participation in global climate uh, negotiations, nor will it be helpful to climate science. Um, but it's early times, and uh, he has yet to develop his administration, and uh, so we'll just have to see. Well, I think that uh, for entirely separate reasons, uh, we're going to go through the 1.5 degree barrier in about 10 years. It's almost completely built into what we've already done. The energy is still is been deposited in the ocean. It will come out at some point. And uh, so the world is going to be, uh, the developing world in particular, will be disappointed that we've gone through 1.5 degrees. But at the same time, uh, there are now major studies uh, underway about how we would get to 1.5 degrees. And so you can view the UN's action in COP21 as a promise to the developing world that we will not stop. If we should ever get back to 2 degrees, we will not stop there. We'll go down to at least 1.5 by pursuing uh, energy technologies even more determinedly than before. And so. Uh, uh, in the short term, they're going to be disappointed, but if in the long term, uh, if it stimulates uh, a, a very aggressive uh, uh, carbon uh, emission reduction policy, uh, it will be a good thing.